All right, YouTube, I'm back. Um, last time I was on, I was the last two videos I made was actually working on uh, a computer and building a solar panel, and this is where I left off. Uh, the solar panel is coming along pretty good. I got the Eva on it. I cut it, uh, cut it, trimmed around the edges. Um, we bought one. Um, it's like $150, and it's like 45 watts or 50 watts. This one should be a little bit over 60, and we have $105 in this one so far. Um, and that's between the Eva, the glass, the cells, and I already own the solder and iron, but I did have to get a heat gun um, to melt the Eva onto it, and they recommend that you put these things in the oven. Um, I can't fit this in my oven, so I'm probably just going to heat the... Uh, Solar panel up with this heat gun and get this stuff nice and tacky and sticky. Put this other piece of glass on it, caulk around the edge, and uh, put a bunch of weight on it, and hopefully uh, that'll do it. Now, when I tested this yesterday in here in the front room with the light on and uh, the bright light on, I was getting 17 volts out of it. So I think it should suffice to do what I have to do. Um, it's just ridiculous how much solar panels cost and if you know what you're doing or a little experience you could build them yourself it's not too hard um it doesn't take a genius to put one together um i think they're labor intensive that's why they cost so much this is our radio room my uh father likes to talk on the on the radio so um we got our battery here we got a power inverter here and our charge controller here um so, it does all right. It can charge that battery. It will take it from 10.9 or 10 or 11 volts up to up to almost 13 in a, on a good sunny day. Um, we got to upgrade the battery. That's not a deep cycle battery. We're gonna get a deep cycle and eventually upgrade the uh, power inverter. Um, it's an 800 watt continuous, 1600 watt peak Cobra power inverter. I think it was around 70 bucks, 60 bucks, something like that. It's also got the 5 volt USB output. Uh, on it um the only problem with these kind of power inverters is they use uh you lose 10 percent through them or sometimes more in efficiency um if you go with the pure sine wave inverters um you're a lot better off so if you're just doing this as a hobby and you could probably go with one of these but if down along in the long run if you want to uh really save some money um get yourself some good uh good batteries good solar panels and obviously uh the heart of the whole system would be your power inverter and your charge controller. Without a good charge controller, you'll be buying batteries a lot more often. There's no reason why a battery shouldn't last longer than it lasts when, when it's in a car, depending on what kind of battery you use. Um, best bang for your buck is definitely a lead-acid battery, what they call a wet battery. So you can actually maintain these. Um, but like I said earlier, a good charge controller is the key. you got to have a good charge controller. Um, and that's about it. I'll let you know how I make out with this. Um, I'm going to try to get this thing finished up tonight. Um, and uh, get it out in the sun tomorrow. Well, anyway, uh, thank you for watching. And I'm out of here.